Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Colour Scope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So I'm so glad you could join me. The idea of the Astro Colour Scope is that I take three crystals for you, for your sign, from my crystal bag. I throw those three crystals into a, a circle with the 12 houses of the astrological signs and then see where those crystals go so that I read the crystal specifically for the houses for your month ahead. I'm also going to take a bead from my bead bag and see what color wants to come up to influence your month ahead. And this time I thought I'd use, I'd write down all the aspects um, for the month as well and I've got them all on here and I'm just going to pick one of these to see which one wants to be specific for you for this month as well. All right so let's get started. Okay Cancer, so for you you have this heart shape which is a snow quartz this went into your fifth house. Um, snow quartz is it has all the qualities of a regular quartz, but um, it's gentler. So for me, this is saying that things are amplifying for you over the next month, especially around having fun, connecting with your friends, going out, you know, enjoying yourself, creativity, etc. All the things that you love to do, there's going to be more of it. But it's not going to make you tired, so don't worry about it. It's almost like your schedule will be... Um, gently balanced over the course of the month. So you're not gonna have everything coming at once. I also feel with this that um, you're gonna be, you know, I see vacations coming up. So it may not be this month. It might be that just this month you're focusing on vacations because I keep thinking of January. You know, it's that time when when maybe a lot of people go on, on holiday, you know, to get away from it all. But I keep feeling like January is going to be important for you when it comes to um, doing lots of things that you love. So over this month, you may be talking to people about uh, going away together or um, maybe taking a course even together, but it's something that is close to your heart and it's something that is creative as well. Because this is heart shaped, I also feel that you know there's going to be a, a long lost friend or someone that you haven't made acquaintance with for a long time and uh, and they're coming back into your life. Yeah. Okay, so the next stone is Moldavite. So this is one of the pieces of Moldavite that I have and I think of this as a very masculine stone. It went into your seventh house. And um, Moldavite, um, it's, you know, they're all healing stones. And with the green color as well, um, it can link with new identities, new beginnings, etc. But this stone in particular connects to past lives. It connects to um, other incarnations. And it can be this lifetime and another incarnation in this lifetime. So you know, because it's the seventh house, again, it's with relationships. There is somebody coming back into your life that has um, either you've known before in this lifetime, it's more likely that you've known them in this lifetime. That's the sense of it. But there's a connection to other lifetimes as well. So it could be someone new that just feels familiar to you. And there is a sense because this is masculine that it's probably a man, it's probably male. Um, but I also feel that, um, I, I keep, I feel like there's some link with California. Now this is probably not going to be for everybody, but I, I get the sense of a link with California that comes with either a past life or a, an old friend or something like this, which is interesting, right? So for somebody, there's a link with California. It may not be for everybody, as I say. There is black in this particular color as well of the green. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like there's some extra money coming to you and it could be something that's been owed to you by a friend because this is a relationship energy. So our final stone is uh, a blue flash 
moonstone and you can't really see the blue flashes in here it looks very white um, but it has some some little kind of it's almost like electric sparks that come out of it this went into your ninth house so again with travel and adventure something is in the offing something is being planned now with your ninth house you know this is um, about your thoughts and your ideas that are sort of going off into the universe, into the heavens. So, so I feel almost with this that you might be thinking or feeling like you're getting more intuitive, more psychic, and you may be considering taking a course or a workshop or a class on how to develop your psychic skills maybe even your healing skills. But I feel that it's more psychic based. Now what's interesting is the stone that came up for you, the crystal from my crystal bag that came up for you is this um, rainbow. And it's a clear crystal with a rainbow on the outside of it. So I feel as if you're going to get some clarity over this next month. And I feel as if your intuition is a part of that clarity. So it could be that you're getting more intuitive. It could be that you're um, finally realizing that you're right about your intuition, that when you get hit, so you're absolutely right. Um, I also feel with this that you're going to get feelings about other people as well and not necessarily people that are on the planet at this time. It could be that you're getting feelings about people that have passed into spirit. It could be angels, etc. All kinds of kind of, you know, um, discarnate beings. Um, there's a feeling around that. So the blue flash moonstone, um, I also feel like you're going to get a phone call as well from someone. It's like a surprise. So don't feel it's a surprise to hear from them so much as it's a surprise that's coming to you that you, something you've been waiting for. The um, aspects, you got two aspects that came up. There's Mercury, Trine, Neptune, and these are both in water signs, and this is the 11th, on the 11th of November. Um, so again, I get this feeling of you um, communicating with the powers that be beyond this earthly zone. Um, that Mercury is a planet of communication, Neptune, um, it's a it's a planet of of psychic skill psychic energy um it's also the imagination and kind of a visionary energy as well so i feel as if you're gonna start thinking about what it is you want what your direction what direction you want to go in the vision that you um want to create and then moving towards that vision around the 11th this is the perfect time to start doing that to map out a vision for your future uh, and to really imagine how your future is going to look and then you can start moving towards it the other aspect is on the 18th and that's sun conjunct saturn that's in scorpio so um Saturn is a planet of structure and Sun, the Sun is kind of like that opening up of light that comes in so I feel almost as if I feel almost as if you're gonna make a decision around the 18th maybe about a job or a home or a relationship it feels like a very important decision that you are kind of saying yes finally this is what I'm gonna do and there's a sense of there's more structure there's more um, physicalness there's more groundedness that comes with that decision as well let's see what your card is let's take it from the middle you get time space this is the universe um apologies this is the last judgment card usually in most tarot decks so take a look at that image and see if there's anything that attracts you and then ask yourself what does that mean and see what comes to you so for me i see this um i see this colored energy that's up here but it almost looks like somebody's talking so it, there's a sense of a rainbow and somebody's talking with that. So I feel as if you're going to have some conversations with people, um, could be therapists, could be friends, but they're people that are going to help you to make your decisions. They're going to help you to come to a conclusion that you've been waiting to come to, to waiting to come to. Yeah, it's a thought bubble as well. So I feel as if something creative is coming up for you as well this month. And um, 
and I see all the, I see this childlike energy that comes with this card and so there's a sense of fun and I'm getting you know this card is the number 20 I'm getting that it's around the 20th so there's a fun coming for you so that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do check out my website, of course, sealwithlove.com, and my store. You can find my necklace in my store. This is the Tree of the Shaman. And, of course, lots of silks and my book and CDs and crowns behind me. All kinds of different things, paintings as well. Do share this video with your friends if it's resonated with you and remember to subscribe to my love letter and grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. I will see you next month. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. Bye.